Hey everybody, it's Alika Lifty, and today let's brew our Rwanda Copacama as a filter offering. This is a bright and very sweet offering from Rwanda. Uh, it actually has a lot of pea berries. You'll notice this coffee is being released with a pea berry offering, and this one also has a lot of pea berries. It's a very sweet coffee. Uh, I wanted to highlight some of that acidity, so we're going to be doing uh, what will be known as our Kalita Wave recipe number two. If you've taken our courses, this is one of those recipes that we featured here uh, from time to time on some of these recipes. It's gonna be a little bit faster and the grind size is gonna be a little bit more fine than a traditional Kalita Wave. But we're still gonna be using 25 grams of our Rwanda ground medium fine. This was 11 on a Bratza Encore. This will be about 21 clicks um, on your Commandante C40. And this was about a six, uh, about seven, seven to six on a, a Malkunig EKS. So, uh, got my Kalita, I've got 25 grams of coffee and we're gonna be using 400 grams of water. Let's wet our paper filter. I always like to pour straight in the middle of my Kalita, let it fill up about a third to halfway before rinsing the sides. Let it drain and dump our water. Let's dose our coffee. Shake our brewer flat. Tear our scale, let's get ready to go. So this recipe is a lot easier than our standard Kalita recipe, but it's a lot faster. Um, and some coffees are just a little bit too bright in this recipe, but this was really nice. Let's start our timer. Let's bloom 50 grams. And we're gonna let this bloom for 30 seconds. And at 30 seconds, I'm gonna pour straight in the middle, uh, up to 200 grams total. And just let it rise up. Boom. Drop in the middle. I'm just pouring straight here, increasing flow rates, raising our water level, getting a lot of heat, a lot of agitation, and bringing this water level up for us. And we're gonna let this drain a little bit. At one minute, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna pour straight in the middle, let this water raise up to 300 grams total. We're gonna have some highs and dries. These should get saturated with the next pulse. Drop heavy in the middle, let it raise back up. Water level is touching that coffee again, and it's covered, and I'm at 300. So, next is gonna be my last pulse, 100 grams. I'm gonna do this at a minute and a half. Drop heavy in the middle, this time spiraling outwards to touch all the coffee. If we did all spirals with this recipe, we would pack this coffee down. Um, and we would get a slower flow rate. But pouring straight in the middle, we help prevent choking, even with a finer grind size in the Kalita. And we get a really high flow rate. Drop, and let's work our way around. Let's push all of these dry grounds into the coffee bed. And there we go, 300. Sorry, 400. Let it drain, let it drain. Uh, if this coffee drains too quickly, it's gonna be really bright. Uh, it's kind of like white grape. It's a little bit watery and a little woody, kind of like cedar. Uh, if it drains too long, it becomes really drying, uh, kind of tannic. But when we are balanced, I expect a drain time of three minutes. When we're balanced, we're gonna taste red apple. We're gonna get golden raisin, and we're gonna have brown sugar sweetness. This is a really sweet, um, gently bright coffee, uh, but this recipe is gonna highlight some of that brightness. Uh, if you're brewing this in another recipe, I would expect to grind more fine than you think you need to, because this coffee wants to drain pretty quickly. Uh, but also, we need a little bit finer grind to give us all of that rich sweetness. We are dripping out. There we go, getting our final drips here. 
at that three minute mark. Very fragrant, really nice. Also nice in an AeroPress, but I just really enjoyed the, uh, the brightness and sweetness in the Kalita versus covering up more of that with that texture. Sir, and enjoy.